Welcome back, we're now back to another terrible gameplay. Oh, heavens, dreams. Okay, there we go. Okay, so... Welcome to Undertale! If you don't know what this is, I am so sorry. This is a game that is new and dear to my heart. I'm taking away from Don't Starve so I can go and... It, 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 exterminate entire species by doing the genocide run! <laughs> So, I've already gotten partway through the genocide run, but I'm just going to start over because I wanted to highlight the beginning parts. So I'm basically just going to be going through as far as I can and just highlighting the most creepy parts. There is a pacifist and multiple neutral endings. Many, many theories and secrets about this. This is like one of my favorite games. If you want to see the pacifist, which you should probably see before genocide, others won't get any of the story or the things that are missing... Go watch a different playthrough or playthrough yourself or something. This is just the genocide event run. This is just for my own amusement. I mean, if you want to see the passwords, I can do it again, but I'm not putting it up at this point. This is genocide. Moving on. Yeah, and because I resetted, it's not a true reset. I just resetted the game, understands so I reset, and now he's. was quick. Okay, Toriel. Her name is a play on tutorial. Anyways, that was different. Why we didn't do the whole shooty McGee thing at me? Because he knows I reset. So basically, the goal of genocide is after you go through pacifist and to make friends with all of the characters, you then go through and kill them all. Where's the Pokemon student? Yep, I know how to do this. I might switch to a controller. I'm gonna air us now because heaven knows. Heaven knows my computer will take one look at the controller. Go, oh no, we can't record that. Oh, mm -mm, no, uh -uh, no way. So, we shall do keyboard for now. And then move to the thing afterwards. If my editor This may this video may never see the light of day simply because my video editor will look at it and go Let's get back away. Now the trick with pacifist is that you go into these fights and you go over to this and you talk or act a certain way or just straight up mercy them. Which is basically saying, hmm, okay, I'm Come over here, and you can either spare or flee, which you have to do in the past with, with several characters. Other ones you can act on until they want to be friends with you. And here you just go straight to fighting to kill everything. Just whip right through. Them. Also, the soundtrack is amazing. This is the first real enemy you face. You, it's entirely up to you whether you want to straight up murder or try to talk to him. I've increased. My mouse is in the way. There we go. We're going away! <laughs> so cute! I feel so bad that I have to kill you. <laughs> I'd like you to walk to the end of the room by yourself. Forgive me for this.
Yeah, nothing happens. You literally just hold on one button. This is part of these sections to test your independence. This attention some business, and you must stay alone for a while. Please remain here. It's dangerous to go by yourself. I have an idea. I'll give you a cell phone. If you have a need for anything, just call. <laughs> yeah, I'm not staying there. Hello, this is Toriel. You've not left the room, have you? No. You puzzle heads and I've yet to explain you. You can't just to try to solve them by yourself. Good. So, say hello about yourself, call her mom, flirt. This is... Want to know more about me? Well, I'm afraid there's not much to say. I'm just a silly little lady who worries too much. She's very much a motherly character. Take one, take this candy, yes. Take this candy. Woohoo, I have items. Take one, take candy. Yes, take more candy. How disgusting. Take one. Take candy? Yes. Take another piece. I feel like the scum of the earth. Take one. Take the candy. Yes. Do too much fast. Candy spills onto the floor. Look at what you've done. <laughs> please, please, thank you. Do the lead. Spills your determination. One hit. One hit. And pass because you go through multiple rounds with those guys, convincing them that you're friendly and that you want to be friends with them. So now the trick is. If this were a pacifist, I would be making friends with all of them and sparing them instead of fighting them. But because I'm murdering them right now, technically in the definition of base, by technically according to game's rules, I am in neutral mode right now. I have to now grind for a while, which is, by that I mean walk around continuously. To purposefully trigger more encounters so I can kill all of them before I'm technically in genocide. And everything changes when that happens, which is why I wanted to record this. That way I don't have to go through the whole thing bit by bit with my sister as she can see it. This is just for you, 20 dearest. I suppose I should explain about the point system. So, in Pacifist, you earn no experience through the whole run. If you gain any experience, that's Pacifist done. You only earn experience points when you... You only earn EXP when you kill something. So, in the end of the Pacifist, it tells you that EXP is actually... Execution points instead of experience points. And your, they keep saying my love increased, that's level of violence, meaning I leveled up. So in the past, this, it looks like you're not making any progress at all, even though that's the way you're supposed to play it in order to be a true pacifist. Whereas in genocide, you're killing literally everything. So, you have a ton of experience and level by the time you get to the end. So, you have so much more max health possible than in the past history. So, the beginning stages of genocide are super easy. Because you have so much more health already. I already have more health than I ever did for past history. And that was even with the... 
upgraded special secret Temi armor. Which isn't really secret, it's literally everyone in this map. But it's hard to get to. And this is- I haven't even left the first area yet. On the other hand, Genocide is known for having very hard bosses. Like... Undyne. Fonz. Yeah, I, I don't know if I'm going to finish Genocide. I don't know if I will be physically able to. And it is at this point when you are officially in genocide run. <laughs> when you spawn enough encounters to kill enough people that you literally kill all of the monsters, but nobody came. And when you go back up to the save point, <laughs> determination. <laughs> okay, moving on. And at this point, the soundtrack changes, and you have the creepy version of Flowey's theme, which is slowed down by, like, 13 times or something. I have random factoids about Undertale, forever stored in my brain. And yet, the things that I know about it barely scratches the surface. There are so many layers to this. I know, this is Toyel. For no reason in particular, what do you prefer? Cinnamon or butterscotch? Wait, do not tell me. It's a butterscotch! Because I picked butterscotch before! Just for kicks and grins, I'm gonna say no. Oh, I see. Well, thank you. Goodbye for now. Oh, boy. You do not dislike butterscotch, do you? I know its preferences, but... Would you turn up your nose if you found it on your plate? Right, right, I understand. Thank you for being patient, by the way. Yeah, the game is just going to continually remind me that I'm a heartless monster and I just killed every living being in that. See, so yeah, at first... Okay, seriously. Do not have any allergies? No, I do not. Asking no reason, no reason at all. I am going to narrate some of this stuff, but I've already gone through this part up to Iris' fight. So... I'm not going to read every single line, sorry. And I know how to do this puzzle by now. Anyway, the game will continue to remind you that, but also, the first few fights, it's like, oh yeah, this is, this is easy, I mean, this is, this is so nice, I can just, I can just kill all the things I spent so long laboring over in the past first run, and then after a while, after you go through and, I get this rock. Yes, move into position. Go over, he moves back. Now stay there. Anyways, um, after a while of ripping through monsters endlessly, you um stuck in the feeling that oh he I forgot about that. Yeah, you usually have a nice long dialogue with him. If you're in pacifist, you become friends with him. If you're neutral, you fake fight him before he sadly informs you that you can't actually kill a ghost, I'm sorry, and then disappears anyways. Doesn't even bother talking to you in this one. Because in this in this version of the game, the game has no problem with reminding you that you are in fact a monster, and everyone is terrified of you. Okay, this is where I'm not sure. In Pacifist, you want to leave money in there because it helps you out later when you find yourself in the spider den. I don't know. Since I'm gonna kill them anyways, I won't. Probably gonna regret that, but I'm not going to. 
usually it is a nice line of fogs here giving you tutorial tips, but everyone's hiding or dead. Just as it has been a while since I've come up, it's not expected to have company so soon. Probably a lot of things like that. You can pick them up. Do not carry more than you need. Except you might need to see something you really like. Want to leave room in your pockets for that. Yes, we know. Okay, the switch is in this one. Oh, the vegetable is gone. I guess it hid. Because I didn't find any. So I assumed that I killed enough people that all the other monsters in the area hid. So, most of this is going to be the highlights of all the creepy parts that change. And then... Yes. And then be speed walking my way through this because I have already done this. The puzzles I already know how to do. Again, if you want to see a full playthrough, go watch one before watching this because. Oh, wait, which switch do I need? The red switch. Okay, because. There are, you're missing all of the story, all of the background. This whole mode exists just to creep you out and to give you a few extra sinister details on some of the darker backstory. But it has nothing, if you want, you need to see the full, the full story before you actually do the genocide. Otherwise you're missing out on a lot. Yes, please. And now my attack is up. I'm home, honey! Oh dear, that took longer than I thought it would. The awkward moment. Feels. How did you get here, my child? Are you hurt? Not a scratch. Impressive. But still, I should not have left you alone for so long. It's irresponsible to try to surprise you like this. Ugh. Well, I suppose I came out hiding anymore. Come, small man. She's so nice to me. And I end up killing her. Do you smell that? Surprise! It's a butterscotch cinnamon pie. How we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time with you. So I will hold off on snail pie for tonight. Here, I have another surprise for you. I love this soundtrack. I'm actually learning it on my guitar. I haven't played in forever, so my fingers, my poor fingers are like, no, why are you putting us through this? But I, I want to learn how to do this nicely. It's super pretty. I want to pick up the guitar. Her name Chocolate Bar. Some white fur stuck in the drain. Where are the knives? <laughs> Doesn't show up in any other mode. <laughs> what a nice smell. Too hot to eat them. So I gotta go take a nap before I can actually do it. Stop the Clean for you all uses fire magic. Okay, let me see. Talk about the fire. Okay, well it's not giving me that little box, but it, the fire is warm. But not not hot, but pleasantly warm. You could put your hand in it. Try behind the bear and fear for you. We went blah 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 far far into the earth we walked until we reached the cavern's end. So this is our new home, which we named Hope. Oh. As great as our king is, it's pretty lousy names. Moving on. And the tools have been filed down to make them safer. Basically, all that is to tell you that her home is childproof. And if you go down the staircase before you're supposed to. No creepiness here! Do not go down here. I have something to show you upstairs. Okay, so here we go. This is it. A room of your own. I hope you like it. Aww. Is something funny? Um, make yourself a home. Okay. 
So this should all be the same. Ah, just a regular bucket. Snails. Tutorial's diary, read the circle of passage. Sure, why don't you read the passage? Why did the skeleton want to print? Because she was feeling bonely. <laughs> the rest of the page is filled with jokes of a similar caliber. I love the puns in this game. <laughs> Definitely bigger than a twin size bed. It's like video of some plants, you open to the middle. Five for a group of wetland flowering plants with a brown oblong sea punch. More commonly as warp sausages. Pick inside. Scandalous! It's Toriel Sock. <laughs> oh, I love this game. Good wonder renovations. I want to figure out if there's a way to get in there. It's me, Jackie. But I am my character. Oh, I should have renamed it Kara. Whoops. My bad. Because in Pacifist... I think you should play upstairs instead. In, pa in the Pacifist version... When you look in the mirror, it says, It's you! Because you are understanding is the character that you named. Like, I named mine Jackie. The understanding is that Jackie is... The character that you see on screen. That's not true. The character that you see on screen is Frisk. The character you named Jackie is the other, the first human that fell down that was best friends with the king, who the canon accepted name is Kara, who is really the main villain in this, who is basically taking over this poor little kid's soul and telling him. Hmm, I'll kill everyone. I hate everything. I hate humanity. Let's kill everything. Basically, that's a long backstory shortened down into the evil side. But anyways. Oh, okay. I love that good one. Why is not cool down? Oh, I forgot to take a nap. Yep. I'm into all take a nap because I want the pie because it gives a lot of health. Already, I see. Um, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. So many old books I want to share. Got to share my favorite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. This may come as a surprise to you, but I've always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps that isn't very surprising. Still, I'm glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? When can I go home? What? This, this is your home now. Um, would you like to hear about this book I'm reading? It is called 72 Uses for Snails. How about it? How do I get out of here? Um, how about an exciting snail bat? Did you know that snails talk? Really? Slowly? Just kidding, it's just talk. <laughs> Interesting. That's the first weird non fact she's giving me. She said they make terrible shoelaces or something. How to exit? I have to do something. Stay here. Yeah, I'm not staying here. Off we go. You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. A one way exit to the rest of the underground. I'm going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Be a good child and go upstairs. Oh, that kind of puts a halt on my murdering spree. I have lives to take. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I've seen it again and again. They come, they leave, they die. You naive child. If you leave the ruins, they, Asgore, the king, will kill you. I'm only protecting you, do you understand? Go to your room. Yeah. Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. Here we go. <sighs> Want to leave so badly? <laughs> Just like the others. There's only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you are strong enough to survive. Wait. And at that point, she usually is already in the fights. 
just because I reset and came back and she's figuring out this seems familiar somehow I don't know why but this seems because we've already gone through it why are you looking at me like, that? like you have seen a ghost do you know something that I do not no that is impossible here we go Do you really hate me that much? Now I see who I was protecting by keeping you here. Not you, but them. Ha. Ha. Oh! And she's dead. She was a strong, like, boss monster because her soul didn't explode right away. It held on a few seconds and it exploded. And if you go through in the neutral one, you have a fight. You have to fight her. But if you get down to one health, then she avoids you on purpose because she doesn't want to actually kill you. She's the only easy monster. Easy boss, I guess. But because I'm genocide, I have all this extra power from killing all the others. One hit is all it took. One stinking hit. At that point, your brain starts imploding. Uh, Flowey? You're supposed to show up now. Okay, usually Flowey shows up at that point and does a monologue of... It's you! Isn't it? Speaking of Kari, his long-lost dead sibling. And basically agrees to join forces with you. With, uh, basically says, I'll help you out. Let's cry. Let's turn them all to dust. And goes on the water screen with you. So all the puzzles that you usually have to do in Passivus that takes you a long time to slog through are already done by Flowey. On track is intense. Human. <laughs> Yo, what we'll push it in the hand trick? Always funny. That's uh, your cue to laugh or uh, to emote at all. Okay, huh? Okay, that's fine. Everyone's got their own sense of humor. I'm Sans. Sans the skeleton. I'm actually supposed to be a watch for humans right now, but you know, I don't really care about capturing anybody. My brother, Virus, is human hunting fanatic. Hey, actually, that's him over there. I have an idea. I'll do the skate thing. Yeah, go away. The bull made the bones too wide to stop anyone. Quick, behind that conveniently shaped lamp. <laughs> I just tried to move. I couldn't move at all. Oh, uh, okay. Guess you don't have to. Sons, have you found a human yet? Yeah. Really? Wow, me! Yes, that's settled! <laughs> oh god, my <I'm> man. <laughs> Just walks off like, okay, well, oh, we're good. That worked out, huh? <clears throat> Just gonna stare at me, or. Okay, so, backstory a little bit. Sand is my favorite character. <laughs> he also terrifies me because he is the worst boss fight in the history of Undertale Enders. So I'm not sure if all boss fights, but he's really tough. I don't know if I will be able to get past him. But also, he's very 
punny and sarcastic and he is really good. But also, he is aware that he is kind of self-aware of the fact that this is a game and he has the ability to just kind of teleport wherever he wants. No one really knows exactly why, but he knows something about like quantum time and theory and teleportation and stuff. Anyways, he's a very deeply deep and complex character. He's my favorite. Moving on. Well, I'll be straightforward with you. My brother would really like to see a human. So, you know, it really helped me out. I kept pretending to be one. And this is the very minor key version of uh, Snowden Force 2. So, usually, again, usually he's like, Would you mind? Usually you do hide. And then Papyrus comes in. And Papyrus is so funny. And he's like, We need to find a human. Ah, let's go. Oh, golly gee. And then, you know, walks off. And then Sans is like, Can you, can you show him that, you know, kind of show up? He's harmless, don't worry. It really make his day, but this time you just stood there, and yeah. Okay, so I'm going to try very hard not to do the whole talking backstory thing because I know it's if you haven't seen the past bits, which you need to see before this, then it'll mean nothing. And if you have seen it, then you already know. This is mostly just talking out loud to refresh myself and my sister, who I just went through the past bits route with, just for. Qualification there. Okay, what we got? And with that amount of creepiness, I have more grinding to do. I'm going to leave this episode here and hope to high heavens that this actually processes and edits right. Like I said, game new and dear to my heart. I love it. I wanted to do the genocide route for the creepiness. This is going to be highlights of creepiness for the the genocide quote of Undertale. Have a good day. If you liked it, great. If you didn't, don't say it didn't warn you. Click off now. <laughs> and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.